Friends, uh, now we are going to the next unit, the analysis of continuous beams uh, using what is called as three moments theorem uh, by KPRS theorem. Now we know the continuous beam is a beam with which it will have more than two supports. It can have more than two supports. It means a uh, n number of supports, right? Now uh, let us take uh, one such continuous beam here. And uh, let us say A, B, C with uh, A, B and B, C are the two spans. Now, this Clayton theorem is applicable for two spans. And if you want to uh, uh, enhance the applications, it can be applied. How to apply? We'll see that in the later uh, course of our uh, analysis. Now let us consider a continuous beam of two spans, AB and BC with a span AB as L1 and BC as L2, having uh, the section as I1 and I2, the moment of inertia. Now uh, let some loading uh, has been applied. Now if you take the free body bending diagram, free bending diagram, let us say somewhere I will take the of uh, this as like this. This is the free bending moment diagram of span AB as well as span BC. So, <coughs> this is what is called as free bending moment diagram. F, F, B, M, B. Now, let us say the area of this, we take it as A1 and the area of this, we take it as a2. Also, the, the center of gravity of this from foreign. Remember, we always take the, the mid support as a reference. For with respect to mid support, the foreign is A. Therefore, from A, we need to take the X bar. So, let us say X bar is the CG of the BMB of uh, span AB. And similarly, with respect to B, the foreign is C. From C, let us take another the center of gravity of the BMB2. Let me call this as X2 bar. Now, what is the theorem says, says, says is if, if MA MB and MC are the moments and the supports, right? Then the KVM theorem says for a span A, B, and B, C that M A into L1 by I1 plus 2 times M B L1 by I1 plus L2 by I2 plus M C L2 by I2 is equal to minus 6 times A1 X1 bar by L1 I1 minus 6 times A2 X2 bar divided by L2 I2 plus if there is any sort of sinking then plus 6 E B1 by L1 plus delta 2 by L2 now where the delta 1 and delta 2 are the sinking of uh, the supports A and supports A and support B, right? So, this is what is the general equation for solving the support moment. Now, since in this, this particular case, since the support A as well as support C are simply supported, therefore, we will have that MB is equal to MC is equal to 0. But however, however, MP will not equal to 0, though it is a simply supported, but not equal to 0 because it is a mid support. The mid support will act as a fixed support, therefore, it will carry moment. That is the reason I have written here, therefore, MP is not equal to 0. So, our now the requirement here is that we need to calculate what is MB. So, coming back to this particular equation as per the KPR theorem. What is that I can do now here is that this will be 0 for this case and this will be 0 this for this case. Now, what is A1? A1 is the area of this 3 bending moment diagram. 
x1 bar is the c distance of this particular bending moment diagram. Similarly, a2 is the area of this particular bending moment diagram, free bending moment diagram, and x2 bar is the cg of this. So, therefore, however, now in this particular case, given to us that delta 1 is equal to delta 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, I can even eliminate this particular term also. So, finally, what is that I can write is 2 times mv l1 by i1 plus L2 by I2 is equal to minus 6 times A1 X1 bar divided by L1 I1 minus 6 times A2 X2 bar divided by L2 I2. Yeah, uh, then in this equation further, if you take let us say for example I1 is given to be equal to I2 is equal to I, then what happens is the expression reduced to MV L1 plus L2 is equal to minus 6 times A1 X1 bar by L1 minus 6 times A2 X2 bar divided by L2. So, from this I can get what is MB. Once I get the MB, here because MB and MC are 0, then I can get the reactions BA, BB and BC. Then after that once I get the unknowns, all these unknowns, then I don't think there is any difficulty for us to draw the shear force as well as bending moment. Let us take a simple example and solve for the unknowns. Let us take a very small uh, problem here. Uh, friends, let us take a very simple example of a continuous term of, of two spans. S -s two spans means from A to B one span and from B to C is the another span. Subjected to another span, subjected to the concentrated concentrate load of let us say 15 kilonewtons, and uh, this is equal to 4 meters, and let us take this equal to 6 meters, where just by I take EA to be equal to constant. Now, what is that the requirement here? Just find the unknowns and draw a shear force and bedding moment. Right? So, let us go for the solution. Now, Let's call this as A, B, and then C. And also, reaction we call this as BA, BB, and then BC. Okay. So let us draw the uh, the free bedroom diagram of this. Now you know the span AB is a uh, subjected to UDL, therefore the span is 6 meters. So 6 square is 36, that means you will get a parabola. And what is this? The magnitude of the parabola we know it is simply calculated by the simple expression WL squared by A. So what is that you get WL squared by A? So 36 into 30 divided by 8 is and getting it as 135 and this is here WL by 4. So, what is the WL by 4? This will be WL by 4, which is equal to 50 into L is 4. So, it will be again equal to 50. So, this is what is free value of that. Now, what is A1 of this now? Also, let us take the moment at this point I take it as MB 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 and then this as MC. Okay. Now, what is that you are getting is A1 is equal to the area of this parabola is given by 2 third of span 6 and mat height is 135. 
So this goes with the 2, 4 into, this thing is how much we are getting? Uh, 270, 270 plus is 525, 4 into 540. Now, the CD of this with respect to A, I think it is very simple that is x1 bar is equal to 3 meters from A. Now, when coming to this is A2, is the triangle half into 4 into 50, which will be equal to 100. Then x2 bar is equal to from C, which is nothing but again symmetric, therefore it will be simply 2 meters. From C. Now, so now if you apply, you have the, the now applying the Clapeyron theorem. For spans A, B, and B, C. What is it I have? You know the expression. Now, M, A, L1 by I plus M2 times M, B into L1 by I plus L2 by I plus mc into l2 by i is equal to minus 6 times a1 x1 bar divided by l1 i minus 6 times a2 x2 bar divided by l2 i. In fact, the other, uh, uh, other remaining things will not come into picture because given to us is thinking is not done. Therefore, delta 1 is equal to delta 2 0. So, if I can write to this. Now, in this, we know. Again, since the foreign, the foreign, if you see, the foreign is simply supported. Therefore, with that, I can write that MBA is equal to MC is equal to 0 because the foreign is simply supported. But again, I am stressing here, though the bit support is also simply supported, but since it is a bit support, it acts as a bit support, it carries moment. Therefore, the unknown in this case is only MB. Therefore, I can simply write that this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. Now, if I substitute finally, what is that I get? I is common here, sorry, is common here, 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 here. So, the final I can write that as 2 times. MB, L1 is equal to 6 plus L2 is equal to 4 is equal to minus 6 times A1, 540 and then X1 bar is 3 divided by L, L1 is 6 minus 6 times A2. What is it? We got A2 as 100 and X2 bar is 2 meters and divided by L2 is nothing but 4. So, Pan into 2 is 2 times, uh, uh, pan into 2 is 20 times MB is equal to this goes with this. So 0, 12, 2, 15, uh, 160, and then minus, of course. Then again minus, uh, this goes to 3 into 300. So how much I am getting it is 20 MB is equal to minus 1920 therefore mb is equal to what so what is the target mb is equal to c okay so 1920 divided by 20 so i am getting minus 96 kilo newton meter is what i got MB. Okay. So once I get MB now, it will not be for you, it will not be difficult for us to solve for now the for the unknowns. Now let us write down here.
Now, what is that I got now? I got now MB I have got. What is the value I got MB as? 96 kilo newton meter. 96 kilo newton. meter. So this is A, this is B, this is C. Now let us take the reactions as BA, BB and then BC. Now to find the reactions and as I told you MA and MC are 0. Now to find the reaction, what is the time to know? Is? We know how sigma F5 is equal to 0 if I write. Then we have BA plus BB plus BC is equal to 13 to 6 plus 50. So 180 plus 50, it will be 210 kilonewtons. Uh, 230, sorry. 230 kilonewtons. Now, what is the I do is let us consider span. AV. If you consider span AV separately, Now, if I take it separately, then what happens is let me take sigma m b to be equal to 0 to left hand side of b. Right? If I take the left hand side of b, what is that I get? b a will rotate clockwise. Therefore, b a into 6 minus. 30 into 6 into 3 with respect to B. Then there is one more moment at this point, which is also rotating clockwise. Therefore, plus 96 goes to 0. Right? Therefore, BA will be equal to what is BA is going to be for us now? So, 30, 180 into 3 equal to minus 96 equal to divided by 6. So I am getting VA to be equal to 74 kN. Again what that we can do is consider span BC. So if I take span BC now, Now, so again what is that I can do is, again take sigma m about b to be equal to 0 to right hand side of a b, right hand side of b, then what is that I get? Minus bc into 4 plus 50 into 2, then this, this also rotates anti clock so minus 96 goes to 0. Therefore, I get Vc is equal to uh, 100 minus 96 is 4. Almost Vc is equal to 1 I kilo newton. Remember, this B, the support B, takes the force from this span as well as this span. That's the reason why I have written Vb prime here. Bb double prime, I can write this as double prime here, right? However, let us not worry about this, right? It's still you can write it as Bb with you only. Now, what is that Bb I get finally? Bb will be equal to 230 minus 1 is 74 and plus 1.
gives you 155. So I have all the unknowns now I have. Now this is I call it as 74 kilonewtons and dB I got it as uh, 155 kilonewtons and this I got as 1 kilonewton. So therefore, now I got all the unknowns now drawing the shear force or bending moment the item should not be a problem for us. Okay? Let us now go for drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now, uh, let us draw the shear force uh, diagram. This is, we know this is uh, 30 kN per meter. Now, what is shear force? Shear force at this point is 74. Now, so shear force to left of me will be 74 minus this is 6 meters. So 180. So 74 minus 180, how much you get? Minus 106. So, 106. Now, so minus 106, then plus 155 gives you 49. So, here I am getting 49. Then, so there is no load, therefore it remains as 49. 49 plus 49 minus 50 gives you 1. So it constant as 1 and goes to 0. So this is what is your shear force that. So this is what is the shear force diagram. Uh, now bending moment diagram. What to do uh, or bending moment diagram? Now listen. See here, the bending moment is given to be 96. The, the support moment I got as 96 kilo per meter. What does we need to do is here? What is that? Simply we can let us draw a neutral line and 96 kilometers mark. Let us mark 96 kilometers here. And then join because the bending moment at this point is zero, we know, as well as bending moment at this point is zero, we know that is the one part. The second part is superimpose that of the simply supported. What is that simply supported that we got? E is the parabola. And for this, it is the trend. So now has the portions which are not overlapping. And this is which is go lab at the support you need to hack this portion. And this is what is not overlapping of the such span. So this is plus, this is negative at the support, and again this is plus. Now to get a plus ordinate, this is your plus ordinate. How to get that plus ordinate? From here to here we know it is 135. 
then from here to here it will ask of 96. What is half of 96? So this will be this ordinate is going to be plus I'm getting 87. And this plus, how much is this plus is going to be again? This is again at this point it's half of 96, but this will be 50. So it will be almost 1. So this I'm getting it as 2 kilonewton meter. And then another very important thing that you need to observe here is the point of counterflexion here and here. These two are the point of counterflexure because this helps us to uh, detail in the reinforcement. Now, if you draw the, the uh, elastic curve of this. How to draw the elastic curve? This is need to you know point of counterflexure, and this is negative. So therefore, the elastic curve is going to be. If I draw a line here, now from here to here, the bending point is positive. Therefore, it is going to have going to have. And from here to here, it is going to be a, and from here again, it is going to be hogging only. Completely, this portion is going to be hogging. And from here to here again, it is going to be sagging. So, from here to here, it is a sagging curve. From here to here, it is a hogging. Again, from here to here, it is a sagging. That is, that is seen from this positive bending moment. This is negative, therefore from here to here it is negative, therefore it will be hogging bending. Whereas from here to here it is positive, therefore it will only be sagging. This is what is your elastic curve. Remember. Curve. So this is the one of the examples I have solved and you can refer to my other part of lecture where in which you can see many more such numerical examples for your reference. Thank you.